Hey, welcome tonight for this Victory Coastwide Bible Study. It's good to be here with you, with Pastor Shane. What a pleasure uh, to, to be with you here tonight. And uh, let's just pray. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you that faith is rising once again. And Lord, we thank you that we're so excited on fire to, upon hearing your word in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that revelation knowledge will come in. And Lord, we thank you that you will encourage us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, remember these words from the book of Romans, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Mm. I fully expect tonight for faith to rise up yes. in your heart, to take you to another place, another level of rest in God. Mm. So I, I don't know about you, but I sure did enjoy last Tuesday yes, night. Yes. What a great study. Just looking uh, in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through to 16 mm. of, of, of what this place of rest is all about. Mm. And I think the thing that, that literally jumped off the page at me was this, that every day is a today in God's sight. Yes, amen. There's, there's not, there's, he's not interested in the yesterdays. Matter of fact, the Holy Ghost had Paul to write this. Forget your yesterdays. Mm. Forget the past. Mm. It's, it's just, it, don't hold on to any, the good, the bad, the ugly of the past. Just let it go. Mm. Mm. Because if you don't let it go, what you will find is you will focus on that. Mm. And if you're focusing on that, you're not focusing on today. Mm. Because faith is always today. It says now faith mm. is the substance. Now faith. Faith is always now. Faith is always today. Yes, yes. And so if we're looking back and say, oh, today's, a, you know, it's harder today than it was last week. What are you doing? You're focusing on last week. Mm. You're, you're putting your attention back onto last week. Mm. When God is saying, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Yep. He's saying today, today, today mm. focus on pressing into a place of rest in Him. Mm. A place where there's no stress, there's no anxiousness whatsoever. But it's just this wonderful place of being able to rest in the promises of God, knowing on mm. the inside that that word is going to come to pass. Yeah. Why? Because God said it. Amen. That's all we need. Mm. God said it. Mm. And if we will come to that place that God said it, that settles it. There, there was this saying out, uh, God said it, I believe it, that settles it. Amen. Well, the reality is this, is God said it, that settles it. Amen, yes. And you'd be very smart if you believed it. Yes. Yes. If you joined in with believing that. Yes, yes. So tonight we're, we're going to continue on in uh, Matthew chapter 11. We're going to read verse uh, 29 in the message translation once again. Mm. And, and it says these profound words, it says, So Jesus said this, he said, Come to me Amen. and you'll find out who you really are. Yeah. I'll teach you how to take a real rest. Mm. And then he says this, Walk with me, work with me. Watch how I do it. So when we come to Jesus, we're coming and he tells us three things to do. Mm. He says, I want you to walk with me. Mm. I want you to work with me. And then he says this, watch how I do it. Wow. Now, I think these are three tremendous things. We're going to look at them very briefly tonight. Mm. And then next Tuesday night, we're going to start to take them apart and we're going to start to look at the fullness of what the Spirit wants to say with us. Mm. But here he's saying this. He's saying, I want you to walk with me. Yeah. He didn't say walk ahead. didn't say walk behind. He didn't say to walk out here somewhere. Mm. He's saying, no, I want you to walk with me. Now, whenever uh, my wife Susan and I go out anywhere, we walk together. Often, I'll take her hand or she'll take my hand and we walk together. Mm. I don't walk off down in the distance somewhere and that like I'm the big head of the family. No, no, we walk together mm. because it's a together thing. Yeah. And that's what I see with Jesus. I see Jesus is saying, listen, just take my hand and come walk with me. Mm. Walk through life with me. Yes. Yeah. 
Don't try to walk ahead and, and do stuff. No, 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 no. And, and he's saying, I, I believe this. It, it's not only every now and then. Mm. It's a 24-7, it's a 365 yeah. days of the week. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I think if, if we can learn to walk with Jesus yeah. every day, because every day is a new day. Amen. Every day is a today day. Yeah. And so we would uh, walk with him moment by moment, mm. get into, uh, and see, that, that's this place of intimacy. Yeah. That's this place of he knows us, but we need to know him. Mm. We need to know how Jesus uh, acts. Mm. We need to know how Jesus speaks. Mm. We need to know the actions that Jesus would do. Why? So that we can do the same. Yeah. See, I, I think, to me, I think this is one of the things that the body of Christ has missed. Mm. Is that we've forgotten that God wants us to be like Him. Mm. I think we can worship and we can pray and we can study the Word and, and we can go to church and we can do all of these kinds of things which are good. Mm -hmm. but, but to me, one of the, the ultimate things is this, is that we be like Jesus. Jesus. We love like He loves. Mm -hmm. We forgive how like He forgives. Yeah. We show grace like He does. We speak like he does. Mm. That, that when people see us, mm. they're seeing something of Jesus in us. Yeah. I think that to me is so vital. Yeah. I think to me that is so critical mm -hmm. that, that we understand that we are to become like him. Mm. Honestly, I don't want people to see Shane mm. bald. A bit overweight, you know, bad jokes. I want people to really see Jesus in me. Amen, amen. I don't want them to see me. I want them to see Jesus in me. Yes. And that's what walking with him is all about. Mm -hmm. Is about getting to know him intimately that we can become like him yeah. moment by moment. Being conscious and, and, um, and aware of his indwelling presence. Mm. I mean, isn't it powerful to think that God himself lives in us? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know about you, Pastor Rani, but me, that, that to me is just like, that, that's one of these wow moments. Amen. Yeah. To think that God lives in there. Mm. God lives in here. Mm. He lives in us. Mm. Why ignore him? Mm. My wife and I live in a house together. Now, if I just ignored her six and a half days of the week, I'd be in trouble. Mm -hmm. I, if she was here, she'd be shouting amen probably. Mm -hmm. I would be in trouble. Mm -hmm. But I don't do that. Mm -hmm. yes. Every day I, I spend time talking with her. Mm -hmm. And as a really good husband, men, listen to this now. Amen. I listen to her. Amen. Sometimes not as good as I should, but most times as good as I should. And that is, that's walking through life together. Yeah. Yes. And that's what Jesus is saying to us, that, that he never leaves us, mm. never forsakes us. us. Yeah. And then he said, lo, I'm with you always. Mm. Yeah. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm, I, I'm not going to turn away from you. One translation says this, to leave behind in some place, mm. in a desert place. Wow. Mm. He's, he's never going to leave us in a desert place. Mm. He's going to be there with us always. always. Come on, you, you, need to, you need to meditate on that. Mm. What is meditation? It's thinking deeply, it's pondering, it's... It's muttering these things. Mm. Why? Because meditation takes it from a thought mm. and it takes it and it brings us revelation into the spirit. Yes, yes. 
And so we meditate this, this, this understanding that Jesus will never leave us. Mm. Then it gets down into our spirit man. Mm. And then we know that we know that we know yeah. that we always know yeah. that he's with us. Yes. Uh, what's that powerful verse of scripture in 1 Corinthians 6, 17? It's an amazing verse. Mm. It says, but he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Yeah. So what is, what so is... I remember one, one uh, prayer meeting we have that uh, like uh, we, we joined with him. And I just meditate that in my spirit and that it's just like gives like that strength, that yeah. courage. Yeah. Like when I meditate that your, your spirit and, and his spirit is joined, mm. joined together. Wow, that, that when you meditate on that truth, that when you lay hands on the sick, it's not your hands, it's Jesus' hands. True. Yeah. Wow, this, that's really amazing yeah. and, and powerful that his spirit is joined with, 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 with my spirit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, like we have down here some of those uh, meanings of the word join, uh, of, of the move. Yeah, joined. It, it's joined to it. It's fused together. Mm. It's, it's welded together. Mm. It, it's like if you have uh, two uh, pieces of metal and you bring them together, and then you weld that joint, you no longer have two pieces of metal, you now have one, one. because they're welded or joined together. Mm. It, it's like if you take a, a cup of uh, hot water and you take a spoonful of coffee and you put that spoonful of coffee mm. into the water, mm. suddenly they become fused together. Mm. They become joined together. That, that Now you can't separate no. the water from the coffee. Yes. Uh, and that's what he's saying about you and I, is that we need to understand we are joined together, one spirit with the Lord. Amen. A and that means that, that we don't need to be separated. Mm. But if we're joined together, where he goes, we go. Yes. Where he goes, we go. Yes. Not in a separate way. Mm. It's, it's an, an awareness of this truth by faith. Amen. It's being conscious and aware that I am joined to the Lord. Mm. That my spirit is joined with Him. Mm. So it says this, every answer that I now need for life is in me. Yeah. Because the one who is the answer to life is in He's me. In yeah. He's in there. So we need to get to know him intimately. Amen. It's a bit like a honeymoon. A honeymoon is, is for a couple, they, get a, they go away to get to know each other, mm -hmm. to become intimate with each other, to start that journey of life together. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus wants us to become intimate with him and work together with him. What about Enoch in mm. Genesis chapter 5? Yeah, and Enoch walked walk with God and he was not, for God took him. Mm. What a testimony that would be. Yeah. That, that Rani, that Shane, that, that we walked with God so closely that God just took us. Yeah. Just took us. Mm. Why? Because he obviously really liked Enoch. <laughs> he, he really liked him. We know he loves him, but he really liked him. And so he walked so closely with Enoch. Enoch mm. walked closely with God. Mm. And he was not because God took him. Walking with God pleases God. Amen. Amen. When you're, walking, when you're walking through life and you're in a relationship with someone, it should please yeah. each other yes. in that. Mm. Walking with God, it entails communication with Him, mm. dialogue, not monologue. Mm. It's speaking and listening. listening. It's not, not God, I need... Mm. And then go, thank you, and 
no, no. Why don't you slow down mm. and just spend some time with him and maybe some of that time needs to be you listening. Mm. Mm. You listening. Mm. Sometimes we're just not good listeners, but we need to become good listen listeners. Mm. Mm. The second thing he said was this, that we are to be working with Jesus. Mm. Amazing verse in 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9. It says, for we are God's fellow workers. Mm. You are God's field. You are God's building. Amen. We, we, are, we are God's fellow workers. Yes. In, the, in the, the King James Version, it says, for we are laborers together with God. Yes. Laborers together. Together. So that's telling me that, that, that the work that I'm doing, it, it's not, I, I like this. We're, we're not so much working for Jesus, we're allowing Jesus to work through us. Amen. Because I believe this, that, that we won't be rewarded for what we have done, we'll be rewarded for what we have allowed Him to do through us. Yes, yes. Mm. And, and that's the great part mm. of working with Jesus. Mm. Not living or doing ourselves apart from Jesus. Mm, mm. It's His work is our work. Yeah. yeah, allowing Him to use you and me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Understanding that, that, that there's very little I can do without God. Amen, yeah. I can yeah. get in trouble <laughs> without mm. God. Mm. But if I want to live a good life, I need him to be walking with him mm. and I need to be working with him. Because yeah. I found this out over the years. And to some of you, it's probably not revelation, but to me, it was revelation. Here it is. I don't know how to live life in the most effective way. Mm. He does. Yes. And so I work with him and I walk with him Amen. and allow him to do that in and through our lives. Yes. See, we've been bought with a price and we're no longer our own. Mm. Working with Jesus is trusting Jesus. Yes. And tell me what the meaning of trust is. I know you know it. <laughs> By heart. Uh -huh. It's the resting of the mind upon his integrity. Yeah. 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 Listen to it. A resting of the mind, mind which is part of your soul, mm in the integrity of That's another. another yeah. And so if we're saying, hey, I, I, I'm trusting Jesus, I'm really trusting Jesus, then you can't worry. Amen. You can't be anxious. anxious yeah. You can't be stressful mm. Mm. because you're supposed to be in a place of rest mm. because that's what trust is all about. Mm. Trust is all about a place of rest in Jesus. Mm. And when you rest in Him, your mind, your will, your emotions are at ease with Him. Mm. In, in its simplest form, it's this. Jesus, what do you want me to do? Mm. Yeah. A simple question, not a a, not a, a, a theological question, mm. a simple question. Mm. Jesus, what do you want me to do? Amen. Mm. Then you listen mm. and you obey. Yes. And it draws you in to this place of resting in Him. Mm. And if we do that and only that, mm. which is what Jesus said was the key to His life, I only do what my father uh, tells me to do and what I see him do. Mm. And that's, that's all he ever did. Yeah. And look at the remarkable life that Jesus lived. Mm. Oh my goodness me. Mm. Extraordinary. Mm. So when you're working with Jesus, you first of all are not doing it alone. Amen. Nor are you doing it in your own strength or ability. Mm. He's giving you everything necessary to work with Him. Yes. Too many are trying to work for Jesus rather than work with Jesus. Mm. 
how down the, in the third thing he said was, watch how he does it. Yeah. So he said, come, come work with me. Come uh, walk with me, work with me. And then he says, thirdly, watch how I do it. Mm. So how do we watch how Jesus does it? Mm. Through his word. Through his word. Amen. Amen. Through his word. Yes. Yeah. We, we take the word and we open it up and we read and we meditate and we think seriously about the life of Jesus. Mm. And, and from watching how he does it in here, we are then able to do it in our life. Mm. See, there's nothing outside of the boundaries of his word that we can't see him doing. Mm. Someone comes with a vision or a dream or a prophetic word, they need to line up with his word. Yes. yes. They, they, don't, they don't come outside of the boundary of God's word at mm. all. Mm. No. If we want to know how to pray, Watch Jesus yeah. and how he prayed. He, he taught the disciples that great uh, prayer mm. in Luke 11. Mm. When you pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name and, and so on there. So he, he taught us, not that we have to just, just repeat that prayer, mm. but that that can be, that can be a, a plan or a foundation of what we need to pray. Yes. And so if we believe that and we watch how he did it, mm. we do the same. Yes. If we want to learn how to handle money, what, what do we need to do? Mm. Watch how yes. Jesus handled money. Yeah. You know, in John 13, it, it says there that, that some thought because Judas had the money box that Jesus had said to him, go out and buy those things we need for the feast. Mm. And, and so we find that that, that Jesus was, was always one who was generous and kind to people. Mm. So we watch how he does it. Amen. We do the same. Yes, amen. And, and again, to me, if we want to learn about, about grace and forgiveness, I think the, the story that does it for me that just just stops me in my tracks every time, mm. that causes me to stop and realise, wow, that's how I've got to be, mm. is this story of the woman caught in the midst of adultery. Mm. I mean, she's in the very act of committing adultery and, and the, the, the townsmen come and they grab her. Why didn't they grab the man? Uh, that's a question I'm going to be asking when I make it to heaven <laughs> in many, many, many more <laughs> years' time. Yes. But they take this woman mm. and they bring her out into the town square and Jesus is there. A and so they're ready to stone her to death like she's committed sin. Mm. And they're saying to Jesus, well, come on, Jesus, what, what will you do about it? Mm. And just shortening it for our time in verse 7 to 11 of John 8. It says, so when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, he who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. Mm. Oh, what an answer. <laughs> what an answer to them. Mm. Because that answer from the word went into them like a sharp two-edged sword, mm. cutting going in and cutting coming out. Yeah. And again, he stooped down and he wrote on the ground. Mm. And a lot of people wonder what he wrote on the ground. I don't know. I think he was playing noughts and crosses with the Holy <laughs> Spirit myself. <laughs> then it says, And then those who heard it being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. Mm. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. Mm. When Jesus raised himself up and he saw no one but the woman, mm. he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And listen to this. Mm. Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go mm. and sin no more. Wow. wow. If you want to learn how to watch Jesus, to walk with him and to work with him. Mm. To me, this is the most, most foundational scripture here. Yeah. This, is, this is how we are called to deal with people who are in sin. Mm. 
Mm. Whether it's out of the body of Christ or in the body of Christ, it doesn't matter. Mm. But, but yet so often the church has a tendency of shooting its own wounded. Mm. Someone gets wounded by, by sin or disobedience and, and, and the church wants to shoot them and get them out of the way and get them out of the way and, 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 uh, and excommunicate them from church. When Jesus, he said to her, oh, I'm not going to condemn you, mm. but come on, don't, don't do it anymore. Mm. What's he saying? Listen, he's saying, I forgive you totally and completely mm. of what you've done. Mm. Just don't go and do it anymore. Mm. And what did that do? Because most people live in a, a society of condemnation. Mm. You know, someone does something wrong or says something wrong, now especially with Twitter and Facebook and, and all the faceless people on there, they want to condemn that person and rip that person to pieces. Mm, mm. But Jesus, he just goes, well, I'm not going to condemn you. Mm. I forgive you. Don't, don't go and do it anymore. anymore. Be free of that thing. Mm. And what did that do? That transformed this woman's yeah, life. Yeah. It, that the man who was in the act of adultery with, he could have experienced this same thing. Mm. He could have experienced this forgiveness, this cleansing. He could have experienced this agape love of God Almighty. Mm. Mm. But he didn't. Yeah. That we know of. Mm. But she did. So if we want to learn how to be gracious, how to be forgiving, how to be kind towards people. Watch how Jesus did it. Amen. And here's the wonderful example. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Mm, mm. Mm. I'm just letting that sink in for a moment. Mm. Go and sin no more. Mm. To me, that is how you walk with Jesus, yeah. work with him, but then you watch how he does it so that you can do it in the same way. Yeah. I hope you go and read that whole story in there and, and meditate on it and, and, and look at it and say, Jesus, is that how I uh, act towards people? Not react, mm. but act towards people. Is, is that how I act towards people? Mm. And if it's not, friend, I pray that it becomes the way that you treat other people. Because mm, mm. Jesus says, if we condemn and judge others, watch out because you might just end up falling into the same sin. Mm, mm. Come on, let's pray together. Amen. Father, we thank you Hallelujah. for this tremendous word yes. from your word. Yes, Lord. I pray that each and every one of us will truly rise up and walk with you, work with you, and especially we will watch how you do it Amen. so that we can do it the same. Amen. Father, help us today. Yes. Strengthen us today to be forgiving, kind, generous, loving, gracious, compassionate people. Yes, Lord. We believe that, Lord. Mm. We receive it today. Mm. And we thank you for it in that name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you. We just truly love you. I don't know about you, but I sure do enjoy bringing this. Yes, yes. I sure do enjoy sharing the Word of God with you. A Word that has set me free. Mm. A Word that has transformed and changed my life. And I believe that this coming week is going to be, uh, I know it's Thursday night, but the rest of this week is going to be your best yet. Yes. I'm, I'm putting my expectation out there Amen. that this is going to be your best week, that everything that has been trying to stop you and hinder you and hold you down is broken in the name of Jesus. And all you need to, now, all you need to do now is to go and praise Him and thank Him and give Him all of the glory. Mm. God bless you. Remember these words from the book of Corinthians that we walk by faith and not by sight. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you online, 9 a.m. Sunday morning. God bless you.